Good afternoon, and thank you for joining me. Um, you know, consensus is a little bit different than um, most of the companies here today in that we um, have a very mature part of our business. Uh, we've been in business for almost 28 years, and we started out in the total joint replacement market um, and then expanded into um, wearable devices that monitor patients post-op and uh, aid in rehab and patient engagement and a lot of data collection. So I'll, I'll talk a little bit about our joints, but, but not a lot. Um, you know, we've been in that business um, for a very long time. We have a pretty broad line of total knee and hip replacements. And um, we do all of our own manufacturing in-house in the Sacramento, California area, which is something we had to do in order to grow at the rates we grew for many years. Um, we really do have a full service orthopedic company, which we've leveraged as we've gotten into the um, surface sensor type systems. Um, we can do everything through sterilization in-house. Uh, we've got about 65 employees, 35 of which are really focused on manufacturing and manufacturing support. Uh, we have a, a pretty good distribution system that we've been able to leverage from our total joint business into the um, wearable business. And one of the things that we're really very proud of, we have a very robust quality system. Uh, we've had about 100,000 or more joints implanted over the years we've been in the total joint space with no recalls. Um, so, you know, focusing now more on Track Patch, which is our wearable product line, um, about four years ago, we started thinking about how we as a company could add value to our healthcare space. And, um, you know, through a really a process of where our skill sets were as a management team, what we could afford to do in terms of funding it, uh, we really landed on uh, really helping in the post-op portion of the episode of care. And, um, and so that um, effort was launched four years ago. We spent two years pretty much deep in the development phase. Um, and then uh, 2019 was uh, a lot of beta testing and trials. And then um, this year, this quarter, we are commercializing the uh, track patch for knee product. Uh, we have started to build our patent portfolio. We've had one patent issued and um, are filing several more this year. Our management team actually has a very diverse background, which was a reason we got into a technology type product. Um, many of the people on our team only know orthopedics, and some of us have done both technology products, medical tech, uh, data storage, all types of different products, so it really didn't bother us to get into this space. Um, track patch, I'm going to talk about how it works, um, but really the same demographics that drive total hip and knee replacements really are driving the need for a solution such as track patch that can help our healthcare system provide the care that an increasing number of patients are going to need as time goes by. Um, and really track patch was designed from day one to be implant manufacturer independent. We don't market those products together. Um, so we really do focus on uh, two businesses separately. Track patch knee, um, talking about how it works. You know, basically, there's, um, for the knee, there's two devices. One's placed above the knee, one below the knee. They're adhered to the patient with a medical grade adhesive. Um, the devices know where each other are in space. They um, communicate with each other. They communicate with the patient's mobile app. In the patient's mobile app, we provide uh, rehab guidance. Uh, they can see their progress against the goals set by their surgeon. Um, the uh, patient's mobile app uploads data to our GDPR and HIPAA compliant cloud-based software platform where we deliver data to the healthcare provider's app as well as to a web portal um, that has some basic analytics uh, that the surgeon can access as well. What the device does is it captures range of motion continuously. The patient doesn't have to do anything to cause that to happen. We're uh, collecting data every 60 seconds off the devices. Um, the, the device uh, really monitors exercise compliance, uh, can let a patient know a high quality exercise from one that's really not a high quality exercise. 
um, monitors temperature trends close to the wound site, tracks ambulation, um, allows uh, you know, for the patient to enter right within our app the PROM surveys, and that then gets translated um, to the healthcare provider. The patient can also provide pain scores within the app as well as wound photos. And um, then we also provide some web, web analytics to the healthcare providers for decision support. Uh, early on, we um, did some studies with IBM Watson Health, uh, really focusing on where within the uh, episode of care we felt TrackPatch could add some value, reduce costs, improve outcomes. And we found four distinct areas. We, we studied 40,000 uh, knee replacement procedures to kind of sift through this and, and come up with this data. Uh, I can get into this in more detail in the breakout section. Um, but we really believe that track patch actually provides benefits for all segments of the healthcare system. Um, we've really gotten a lot of patient feedback during the beta phases and, and now that we're commercialized that it really helped patients understand where they needed to be and can feel very connected to their healthcare providers. The healthcare providers can apply their resources where they're needed. And um, let's see if I can get this to go back. Well, yeah, and uh, you know, payers are obviously interested in this solution uh, because we're able to really collect a lot of data that can be used uh, to manage population health. Uh, we've had some interactions with research companies, and then hospitals can use the data from the devices um, to rank how different locations do, how different surgeons do. So we really think there's something in it for everyone. Um, the last project that we did with IBM Watson Health was um, to really look at secondary use data commercialization and business models. Um, we found and both agreed that there is an opportunity there. Um, the track patch data is somewhat unique in that it's real-time data from the patients wearing the devices um, that we've determined that data can be um, monetized either separately or combined with other data from EMR systems. Um, and we feel that the market for that data is payers, providers, and, and basically industry. Um, this is an example of some of the early analytics platforms that we've developed uh, for a surgeon or a healthcare provider. We can combine patient metrics uh, with performance measures and you know, a surgeon can look at how um, patients of various BMIs do at week one post-op, week two, et cetera. So there's a, a lot of interesting things we can do with an extensive data dictionary that we've created within our software platform. And then um, the payer analytics, uh, slightly different cut of the data to allow them to compare local, regional, and national locations, um, rank surgeon and facilities based on outcomes and results. Our commercialization strategy, as I said, that we're commercializing now, uh, we're experiencing high demand throughout the US. Uh, we've signed a contract to distribute at um, VA hospitals and the Department of Defense. Um, we're selling to clinics and surgeon practices. Uh, we worked with a reimbursement specialist to develop a billing code using established CPT codes, which really focus on telemedicine, uh, wound care, wound management, patient management type codes. Uh, we're also selling directly to the biopharm industry for use uh, in clinical studies. We're working with a company that's, uh, working, uh, that's um, developing an implantable drug delivery system. And then we're also pursuing workers' comp and physical therapy markets. They're a little bit longer term. You know, the price range is pretty wide between 1,000 and 2,100, depending on the market segment. We've hired an infrastructure in the field of sales managers and device specialists. Um, the other thing we're working on is track patch spine. It's one patch applied to the chest, and uh, that'll allow us to do a lot of different things. It's monitor what we call a gait posture index, which is where a patient is, is in the coronal and sagittal planes. The orange dot would be the top of the patient's head. Um, and we can also, through all the things we measure in this device, um, create algorithms for fall prediction, which we're pretty excited about. Here's our product roadmap. Um, the knee is released, ACL is coming soon, spine coming soon, and hip and shoulder are a little bit further out. 
We've funded this effort by diverting capital from our implant business into the track patch product lines, also through investments by high net worth industry insiders and um, our largest existing investor. However, we're looking at separating the two businesses and raising a $15 million round of funding to fund the track patch business as a standalone entity. Thank you very much.